good morning everyone how are you guys doing happy i don't even know what day it is um well today is actually tuesday but you are not watching it on tuesday so i am preparing i'm preparing this food that i got on instagram my husband actually sent it to me and my husband was like oh can you make this for me so he's on his way back home and he sent me let me show you i'm gonna show you this is my phone let me show you the video he sent me so he sent me this video right hmm? you guys see see this video okay let me start from the beginning see he told me he was like oh i want to eat this when i come home so <laughs> your girl is preparing i've already blended so this is pepper sauce let me turn it off so this is pepper so what i did here whew, what i did here was um i put two peppers one scotch bonnet a banero bonnet one onion and i blended it together yeah two red peppers one scotch bonnet one medium sized onion and i blended it together and then coarsely i didn't blend it finely coarsely so it has been blended the water you can see no more water so you boil it until there's no more water so this one i've set aside this one is completed now i'm boiling egg okay now in here i added honey beans these nigerian beans with a handful of chopped up onion so that one is boiling okay i'm going to boil it until it fills about 80 percent of the time so right here you'll see here i soaked up this fish you see stock fish um not stock fish smoked fish so i soaked it up in hot water for about i want to say 30 minutes maybe i should have soaked it shorter but i, I want to just soak it so that because it was very very hard so i soaked it for about i want to say for about an hour okay please correct me maybe i shouldn't have soaked it this long please 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 let me know this is my first time using smoked fish you guys will not believe it i don't use smoked fish so i soaked that i also soaked this um shrimp prawns it was very hard so I soaked that one too, but I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have soaked it that long. But this is what it is. Please, Ade Ronke vlog, vlogs. She cooks, oh my goodness, you guys check out Ade Ronke. She never asked me, you guys, please. I always post her recipes because I want to cook her food. I always like how she cooks, very simple. So go check her out, Ade Ronke vlogs. She is amazing. I'm going to put her name on the screen. But yeah, please tell me, maybe I shouldn't have soaked this, but I... I don't want my husband to be my husband doesn't like hard stuff so i kind of soaked it so it's a little bit soft so this is like dried prawns okay now this is pomo you all i need your help i always struggle with pomo whenever i cook it it is too soft is it that it's too soft or too hard or not cooked enough so i gave up i didn't know what to do so what i decided to do today was i took the this stuff out of the freezer and I put it in hot water. It has been soaking in this hot water for about, I want to say for about 40 minutes now. And look, it's soft. It's almost as if I cooked it. So it's soft, but I know it's not soft enough. So I'm still going to cook it a little bit. But this is, for me, this is soft. See, I can even use my fingers to kind of cut it. See? See? I'm already using my fingers to break it. So how do you guys cook your one more so that it will look really nice? So I'm going to still cook this with the stew. When I'm making the stew, but I just decided that let me try this method of and nobody I didn't even learn this method from anywhere. I said let me try this method of just soaking this and seeing what happens. So I'm just soaking it now. I'm gonna keep on soaking it, and it seems like it is soaking it is actually cooking it. So um I'm just gonna leave it. The water is still hot. I'm gonna finish peeling this. So what I'm just doing here is you can see right here. I remove the skin so let me know if I'm not supposed to remove the skin I've never cooked this before but I always see people removing skin so I'm removing the skin and then I've already given it a thorough wash I'm gonna give it another thorough wash because you can see the water is dark from the smoke and I'm just putting it like this okay just moving the skin and uh, once I remove the skin I just put the skin right here so I've chopped I have this chopped up this one I don't even know what I'm going to do with this one. Yeah, this one I'm going to add it when I'm cooking. 
so this is my setup so far i want to tell you i also have locust beans this is locust beans i'm not using all the locust beans but the recipe calls for locust beans so let me show you the full recipe so that you guys can watch so so this is so this is um let me <laughs> this is my husband always says me all these recipes and stuff and we just said each other back and forth so this is it so this is the recipe okay you see she adds salt i'm still gonna add rice to it she covered it up she took the oil you see that's the onion that i still have you're gonna add locust beans you're gonna have your pepper mixture in there and add salt and maggi to it and crayfish you're gonna turn it around once you turn it around and let it cook for some time, then you're going to add your fish. You see how she added her fish, her prawns, and then um, I think she added something else, the locust beans, and then her egg. And that is it. That is about it. Just let it cook for a while and then serve it with your rice and beans. So you see I'm rinsing it again and I'm only going to take the amount that I need for this soup. So the rest, I will use it for other soups so, so that... Um, next time i don't have to repeat this thing so i think for the soup i'm making today this is enough so all these ones i'm going to divide this into two parts and use it for two soup so that you know because this this one i think i got this for all this fish i got it for i want to say 17 dollars give or take i'm thinking 17 dollars and then the other one i got it for 10 dollars the prawns but see these prawns this is not all the prawns that came i'm going to show you so this is yeah you guys can see the price 7.99 yeah so i got it for 7.99 so the prawns was a lot like this the other one i have i think i paid 17 dollars for all this stuff so you see i'm gonna just store this divide it into two and this will be for another set of soup if i do a good job and my husband likes it then i'll make it again for him until i'm perfect in making it this is how i do i perfect everything and i teach my children also to practice 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 and perfect their cooking so i've bagged up the two slots and this is my fish this is like my fish section or my smoke this does this um american smoked fish not uh, african smoked fish so i've used american smoked fish before there's a big difference so that's my stuff this is my vegetables my daughters keep on moving this is where i put all my seafood are all here then my beef and my chicken are all here okay i'm checking my beans right now so i've been cooking it now for about 30 minutes and you can see these are the beans so see i can press it and i can break it so once that is like that i know it's ready for the next round because i'm still going to cook it with rice so it's about 6 26 a.m right now and i i'm going for a walk with my friend we do this every weekday so i'm going for a walk with my friend to walk around the neighborhood and i am going to drain this and set it aside for the next round so when i come back i still i'll start my next round of cooking So you guys notice that i rinsed my beans okay i'll tell you why so normally what people would do and what the lady did was she just poured the rice on top with the beans but i rinsed my beans because if you don't rinse your beans like that it can give you a heartburn um so that is another thing you have to be careful about if you're someone that you usually get heartburn rinse your beans before you proceed with the cooking so stop halfway rinse your beans and then continue with the cooking and remember my beans i haven't salted it yet so i will salt it when i cook it with the basmati rice i'm ready for my walk just sent a text to my friend 
to ask her and she's like nearly ready okay see ready for our walk outside so give me five minutes okay and give her a thumbs up sure so and always carry a stick okay so let's go for our walk okay guys so i came back from my walk i added oil to the rice and i started cooking it and then in another pan i'm just frying some onion i wish i didn't have to do a voiceover but me and my friend were like deep in conversation so after adding the onion i just added my locust beans just a little bit like half of it right and then i cooked that also for a while i just love how i think lately i've been liking using locust beans based on almost everything so after cooking that for a while i added in the boiled um, pepper mixture and after i added that in i added in more i believe more locust based or was it salt and pepper anyway yeah so i added salt not pepper added salt and then i added um maggi or bouillon cubes and, or your seasoning you can use your seasoning whatever you have and i just added it this sauce i find that in terms of spices it's very gentle so i also added in crayfish um you can add as much crayfish uh try not to put too much crayfish because i didn't want crayfish to overpower it and i just kind of mix it around like that now this vlog is very raw it's very very raw so after that i added in my locust beans the remaining part of my locust beans and just mix this around and let it cook for a while. So after it has cooked for a while, I added in um, the prawns, I added in the smoked fish, I added in the pomo. So one thing I noticed that as I was cooking this, it looked as if the pomo that I thought was soft initially, it felt a little bit hard again. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so here is when I attempted to add in the eggs. So the first time the smoke kind of messed up my camera. So after I noticed that the stew had cooked and it was kind of bubbling on top, the oil had kind of come up on top, I added in the boiled egg and just kind of let it marinate in there. And at this point, pretty much your stew is done. You guys can see the stew is pretty much done. But I do want the egg to kind of catch the flavor, you know, of the stew. Okay, guys, so my stew is ready. But I noticed that maybe I put too much oil or something. I don't like seeing a lot of oil on my stew. So I got this spoon. I've had this spoon for a while. Is a skimmer. I think they call it skimmer. Please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Uh, you can so what you do is that you take it right and you just put it in your stew like this okay and you see how it removes the oil just the oil alone it doesn't take any of the tomato stuff it just takes the oil just the oil alone and to just remove the oil and I can use this oil to fry egg to do other stuff you see it's just the oil and it keeps the other stuff on the other side so this is awesome if you want to know where i got it if you want me to drop a link i'll drop a link to where i got it from mm -hmm. 